Hello everyone, how are you all and welcome back to our session. So today's video is not regarding the series which we are working on. This is regarding something else. Uh, now we have built a game in Appian, right? That is really sounds very interesting. And uh, today we will see how we can create a tic-tac-toe inside Appian interfaces. Right, so let's get started. And I have already created an interface for you. And you can see this right now I'm in the design mode. If I go inside expression mode and let's see, first of all, let's see how it is working on UI, right? And then we can deep dive into the coding part, how we have created this, right? So uh, this is my interface. Right now I have changed the uh, desktop mode to uh, phone. And we can see these are the tic-tac-toe board. And if I click on any of them, I'll get this and if this style then cross and this is how we can play with this tic-tac-toe and let's try to make one so I'll click on this and then I'll click on this one so you can see now this is a card which is coming when uh, this is successful and the player A wins right so uh, now we can get started and uh, we can also use this button to reset all these tiles right so if i click on these buttons the tiles will reset and if i try to again pull off the game then let's try to make the second player win and this wins so we can see player v wins right so this is a very interesting game, right? It's, it's quite simple and we have only used a single interface to build this particular game. And now we can again reset it, right? So this is our UI and if I go inside expression mode, then I'll explain you what all I have done here. And at the end, you can get this code in the description box and you can uh, try to implement some more logic into this. So what you can do, whenever the player will win you can add colors to that layer right so for example the diagonal diagonal wins then you can add a specific color to that diagonal so this is what you need to do and what i have done i have created this game and let me show you how how i have created this so uh, let's get inside the code and if i go inside a bank local variables i have created local variables for first of all for this uh, circle o large which is the icon which is coming inside this tile and the times this is the icon which is coming inside this uh, tile right so circle o large is circle and the times is the cross <clears throat> and the second local variable is color values we have white and black so what are these color basically is because the logic which i have implemented it right now the icon is there but the icon is in white color so that's why we are not able to see that icon and whenever i'll click on this particular tile then that white color will change to black so this is how we are working on this game and if i go back to my local variables i have this data set right so this is my base data set right i'm using this data set i'm modifying whenever i'm clicking on any of these tiles i'm modifying this data set so inside the data set i have name which is the position of this tile which is right now a1 a2 a3 a4 and i, I have used a bank map the color right now uh, the color is white right at the very beginning when i reset this and at the beginning it is coming as a white the color of icon so we are taking local bank color values one which is white and the value uh, just a map we are using here for value if we are if we need to use this then we can use it otherwise it is right now i'm not even using this value inside this whole interface and the belongs to is uh, whenever i'll click on this tile any of the tile then uh, whoever for example a uh, player a will click on this tile then it will store player a or player b inside this belongs to and th these are the player numbers we have player a and player b and total plays is nine means what all total chances we have inside this game so we have nine tiles so that's why we have this total plays as nine so whenever i'll be clicking on any of the tile the total play will get decreased by one and the this is these are the two local variables local calculated player a and calculated player b so these this is just to calculate who is the winner you can take a look at this one later on 
and inside this whole section layout I'm using columns layout inside columns layout and then columns again column and the final is card layout so I'm building this uh, tiles by using the card layout and inside the card layout I'm using rich text so I have made this card layout as a whole link so you can see the contents inside the card layout is rich text and if I uncollapse this and I can see the link is the dynamic link means I have created a link as the inside the card layout so these are the parameters which I am passing for the card layout height style margin below and shadow to make this look better I am using shadow right and inside the contents we have rich text display field inside the rich text display field we have the value uh, so uh, the value will be this icon right so you can see the icon right now the icon is if the data subset data set one belongs to particular player then according to the player it will change the icon right and how how this data subset belongs to is getting populated inside the dynamic link which i have created inside card layout so whenever i'm clicking on this tile first of all it will save this color it will change the color because previously it was white now i'll make this as a black then i'll change this color i'll save the local data set one dot color and inside that tile i'll change that tile color to black local color value two and the other thing i'm saving is i'm checking if this is a player one or player two and then i'm saving uh, according to whoever will be clicking on that tile i'm saving a and b since inside the belongs to and at the final i'm decreasing this total play count minus one and after clicking i'm making this link disabled because i first of whenever i'll click on this particular tile then i don't want to click on this tile again so i'm i'm just uh, disabling this show when for the dynamic link so these configuration i'm doing and inside the color i'm changing the color according to data sub data set i'm setting and according to data set i'm belongs to i'm also setting the icon so this is all what i'm doing inside a rich text element right and i'll collapse this link also so these this is the card layout and i'm using this card layout at nine places different different and uh, right now this configuration is for data set one right so similarly i we need to do the configuration till nine and we need to do the same configuration that i'm doing and similarly you can see if i scroll down every configuration is there in place so this color this is the color for uh, black and this hash fff is for white so according to this particular configuration i'm changing the color and after all these things i have created a button which is my reset button if i scroll down i have this reset button and the icon for this is uh, I, I i can choose any repeat alt and inside the value i'm setting all the null values which i'm getting when we start the game and finally i'm saving this particular i'm also saving this this save bank value inside local data set means i'm resetting this data set with local variable and also i'm uh, making this total play again nine right so we can start from starting and finally i have a card choice field again to display who is the winner right which we have just seen so i have this card choice field according to the calculated player we are populating these uh, icons for that card and also the value whoever will be win i am setting as a primary text right and after that secondary text wins so this is all we are doing and uh, the logic behind this calculated winner is you can see inside this local variable so uh, what i'm doing here is i'm checking for every possible way for, for example let's make this smaller you can see one two three one two three four five six uh, means whenever the one two three pair will get activated means all all are same inside one two three then this will return true this belongs to belongs to the player one then everything will become true because it's inside and and we have put down all the possible combination which is there there are eight possible combination 
and we have put that inside or means if any of the combination would be true then this player will be uh, the winner and we are only checking this this particular combination when the total uh, total play is like less than 4 because at the very first time we have 9 right and uh, we cannot see that winner at the very beginning so we are only checking when it is equal to or less than 4 and then we are checking this whole combination similarly we are doing for calculated player b the whole combination so that's all it's a, it's a very simple game and we have only used this interface um, in other videos in future videos we'll be having uh, more than this we'll be having some um, interesting games apart from this interface we can use some different logics to build that and till now uh, you can try this and you can enhance this code and you can also modify the color the combination whatever you want um, i'm copying pasting this particular code in the description box you can you can take that code and you can modify it and for any queries please uh, comment it out and you have my contact details in the description box so thank you all see you in next video bye bye please like share and subscribe for more videos like this